Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about weekday formula in Salesforce. We will learn how we use this weekday formula in Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So let's proceed by understanding what is weekday formula. So in Salesforce, uh, there are many scenarios when we need to display the day of the week. And for this purpose, we will use this weekday formula. Or you can see a weekday function that is provided by the Salesforce. Basically, we have a function with the name weekday in which we pass the date and in return it uh, shows the output of the day of the week for the given day. For example, uh, for Sunday it shows you 1, for Monday it shows you 7 and through 1 like Saturday it shows you 7. So let's proceed and learn how we use this weekday function in Salesforce Lightning. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition. If your account is not open in a lightning one, first shift to the lightning. After that, you can see that I am not on my home page. So firstly, I have to shift to the main setup of the home page. For this, I click on this gear icon that is on a top side. And then I have to click on this setup option, setup for the current tab. It opens a new tab with the home page setup. And uh, here we will have a option of a object manager that is visible on the top menu bar you have to click on it it shows you all the objects that we have in our salesforce account so uh, now choose the object for whom you want to use this weekday formula or you can say a function so in this case i want to going to show you the example for the camping object first so here i search for the camping and i click on this camping object it redirects to the object page now on the left side we have a detail section and under this we have an option of a fields and relationship click on it and by opening this field and relationship page it shows you the button on the top named as a new you have to click on this button it uh, give you the says to create a new field in the camping object now it asks you to choose the field type of what field type you want to create a so as we are going to use a function for creating a formula, so we are going to use this formula field. So I check the radio button next to the formula field and click on the next button to move to the second step. Now in the second step, it asks me to choose the output type and give the field label and the field name. So as in this scenario, I am going to show you the field name as a start weekday. So here I type the field label as a start week day and it automatically pop out the field name. Now you have to choose the return type for the output. So as we are going to get the number of a week or you can say a, a week day. So it always return a output in a number form like one for Sunday, two for Monday, etc. So we have to choose the formula return type as a number and if you scroll down you can see that here we have a options of a decimal places by default it is set to 2 so i want it change to a 0 and by changing it now i click on the next button to move to the third step now in the third step it asks me to the enter the formula for calculating the start weekday of the camping so just a second so here you can see that I enter my formula as a weekday and in it I pass the date as a start date. This start date is a standard field. So we already have this field uh, and here I pass it to the weekday. So it uh, gives me the day of the week for the given date which is passed to the start date. After that to check that whether this uh, function works or not, it's uh, correctly written or not, I click on this check syntax button. So it shows me that there is no error for this field or a function. Now you can also add a description help text and even if you want to handle this blank fields, you can handle it. So next you have to click on the next button to proceed to the next step. And in the fourth step, it asks us to, to choose the field level security. So here we have to select the profiles to which we want to grant a edit access to the field. And uh, the field will be hidden from the all the profile if you don't add it to the field level security. So in by default cases, it is checked some of the profiles. So I want to check all the profile to provide the grant access. So I click on this visible box that is on the top. 
and next I click on the next button to proceed to the fifth step and in this step it asks me to choose the page layout or add to the page layout. So now this time we have to select the page layout that should include this field. So uh, I want to add this field to the camping page layout. This is already checked. So in this case it adds the this field to the last column or the last section of the camping page. And if you doesn't select any of the page layout, the field will not appear to any of the page. So then to finally save it, click on the save button. So with this, we have successfully used a, a weekday function in Salesforce for creating a formula. Now let's check whether it's work or not. So here I click on my app launcher. I search for the campaign and from items I open the campaigns and by opening it now I will show you the output so suppose this one is here and if you move to the detail section you can see that um, here the start weekday is 3 because it pick up the value from the start day of the campaign so with this we have learned how to use this weekday function for creating the formula in Salesforce Lightning and now we will proceed and learn to use this weekday function formula in Salesforce Classic. For this firstly we have to move to the Classic Edition. So I click on my profile and from here I click on the option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. It redirects to the Classic Edition of a Salesforce. Now on the top right side here we have a button of a setup. Click on it. Now it shows you the setup page. You have to scroll down under this build section that is on the left side. You will get a drop down option of a customize. So now from this customize option, we will have a multiple objects that we have in a Salesforce account. So now you have to select the object for whom you want to use the weekday function or a formula. So this time I am going to use for the contacts. So here is my contacts object so I click on this now as we have to create a field to use this formula so I click on the drop down and select this fields option now after this it moves to the contact fields it shows all the fields that contacts object have I scroll down and here I have an option of a contact custom fields and relationship section and with the option new so I click on this new button and it asks me to choose the field type for creating a feed so as I'm going to use the weekday function as a formula form so I select this formula field type and click on the next button now it asks me to choose the output type and give the field label so in this case I want to give the field label as a birth date week so I want to know the week on the birth date of the contact so I name it as so as it returns the result in a numbers so I select the formula return type as a number and from scrolling down here I set the decimal places to zero and to move to the next step I click on the next button now it's time to use the weekday function in the advanced formula for calculating the birth date week so just a second I enter my formula here. So here I enter the formula as weekday function is used and in this I pass the date as a birth date. Now I click on this check syntax button to check whether this formula is correct or not. It shows me that there is no error. So it means it is a correctly written. So now if you want to add a description or a help text you can add it and if you want to uh, treat the field as a blank you can also treat it after that you have to click on the next button to move to the next step and in this step you have to select the field level security and here you have to choose the profile to whom you want to grant the edit access of this field so if you not select this the field is hidden from all such profiles so I give access to all the profiles by clicking this visible button now I click on the next button to move our next step and here you have to 
select the page layouts to whom you want to show this formula so here you can see that we have a contact page on a multiple apps like marketing sales sport and the contact layout okay so if you doesn't want to include this field to all such contact pages of the app you have to uncheck these by default the, all the apps page layout pages are selected so i remain is as it is and move to the next step by clicking this save button so here it creates a weekday formula successfully in salesforce classic so now let's check whether it works or not so for this i click on this plus tab it shows me the list of all the tabs that i have so here i search for the contacts so here is the contacts so i click on it it shows me all the contacts so i select this one you can see that here his birth date is not edited so i click on this edit button to add its birth date so here suppose i add its birth date and click on this save button so here you can see that it shows you the birth date week as a 2 so on 17th of july 2023 it's a monday so it shows you that the weekday is 2 as our sunday is treated as a 1 so with this we have learned to use this weekday function as a formula in salesforce classic also so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day